Last week, gathered outside Wellington House in central Leeds, campaigners and bus users alike awaited the Mayor's decision. Would the region embark on its journey to either franchise its bus industry or further enhance its pre-existing relationship with the region's private operators? Both sides of the debate in the preceding months had actively campaigned for franchising better buses for West Yorkshire and for the bus companies the best for West Yorkshire. Better Buses for West Yorkshire, just before the mayoral consultation ended, presented a petition to the Mayor's Office signed by over 12,000, all supporting the move to bus franchising, whilst the Best for West Yorkshire actively promoted their EP Plus proposals to the wider public. It's argued that franchising will provide public control over the network, increase ridership, improve the network, improve accountability, unify ticketing and generally create a significantly better bus provision for the entire region. Though, there has been considerable scrutiny from the bus industry over the cost of franchising buses in the region and the method in which contracts would be awarded, especially from the several small to medium operators in the region. Mr Temple of Connections Buses, stating in Buses, an industry magazine, that if they took our Service 64 from us, our commercial lead service, they might as well as cut my right arm off. During the consultation, two major surveys were published, one from the Best for West Yorkshire, the other from We Own It. The Best for West Yorkshire survey found that 66% of respondents were unaware of the £100 million cost, and that 50% felt the financial risk should remain with the operators, whilst We Own It found in their survey that 66% supported control of services, and that 70% supported the idea of the combined authority employing bus drivers instead of private companies. Of course, both surveys were conducted and funded by parties that have ulterior motives and biases towards either the EP Plus or the franchising of bus services. In the region, the results of cooperation with private bus operators and other schemes have resulted in several changes. A cap £2 single and £4.50 day ticket. In Leeds, a new fleet of electric buses can be found. In Calderdale, a new express bus route, the X1. Across Wakefield, more frequent buses. In Halifax, a recently built new bus station. And in Keighley, higher route frequencies, a cap town fare and soon to be introduced electric albeit with the caveat that most of these schemes could only be achieved through wider government schemes in partnership with the combined authority using funding from the UK government. Which is why Leeds's new electric buses have funded by the UK government printed on their livery, whilst the uh, fare cap earning increased frequencies have only been implemented using funding from the region's bus service improvement plan, which is a scheme that is also directly funded by the UK government. The consultation on bus reform conducted by the Combined Authority resultantly came to the following conclusion. Based on the content set out throughout, the consultation response reaffirms the assessment's conclusion and recommends to the Mayor that the Combined Authority proceed with the proposed franchising scheme as the preferred option for bus reform in West Yorkshire. It's in this context that on Thursday the 14th of March 2024, the decision was made by the Mayor and the Combined Authority. That was it. After four years of campaigning, the question is nigh finally answered. Yes. But the obvious question is, what now? Well, much like the similar journey that Greater Manchester has embarked upon, the combined authority, and most likely Metro, now has a absolute mountain of paperwork to complete. The combined authority now needs to decide on the different tranches of the franchising contracts, and what routes they will cover, then go about purchasing the region's major bus depots and develop a huge plan about freight renewal and network management in general. Only when everything has been done and what I've mentioned is by no means exhaustive, 
then will the contracts be sent out, most likely in phases, for bus companies to bid for. The most likely bidders will come from the pre-existing operators in the region, given that they are already pre-established. Namely, First West Yorkshire, currently in Halifax, Huddersfield, Bradford and Leeds. Arriva West Yorkshire, currently provides links around and in to Wakefield. Transdev Blazefield, currently in Keefley, Halifax, Huddersfield, Weatherby, Harrogate and Leeds. Connections buses in Otley and across North and West Yorkshire. TLC Travel in Hebden Bridge and Bradford. Stotts Coaches in Huddersfield and the surrounding area. And Globe Holidays in Wakefield and Barnsley. And other outside operators like Stagecoach and Go Ahead could also attempt to win some franchise contracts. So that's it for now. I'm sure to keep tabs on the progress of franchising in the region and I'll let you know if anything major happens. As always, thanks for watching and I wish you all the best.